All right, so I want to go in here and show you guys what I've been doing with Notate Me, the photo score plugin, and then exporting those out to Notion because it is a little bit of a process. Um, you can see I've got my one score here. I've actually got it already started. I've got three instruments left, and I'm going to show you how I get the flute, clarinet, and alto saxophone parts in to there. <clears throat> I've already got in Notate Me, I've got the alto sax, clarinet, and flute parts. We're going to do the flute part first. A couple of things you have to watch out for. I'm looking at the formatted score. Let's see if I go to edit. Go to show formatted score. It kind of gives me the whole score at once. I've got an extra measure at the beginning here. I still haven't really figured out how to get rid of that thing. So if somebody knows, leave me a comment. But I've got to keep that in mind when I export this out. Because I want to get rid of that before I put it into my score. All right, so we're going to go export as an XML. We're going to open in Notion. And now I have two... Um, songs here. One is just the flute part. And then um, actually you can see something weird happened here. In fact, I'm going to jump back to Notion. My seven measures that I had in Notion is now down to just one measure. If you remember over here you can see there's seven measures there. In Notate Me Oops, don't want that. <clears throat> sometimes these rests come across and sometimes they don't. You can see I've got the measures of rest. Except for, you know what? You can see down here. I've got these spotlights tell me that in these two measures here they're not finished so I'm gonna put rest here now let's try note or exporting this and see if it works we have two files here so I gotta make sure I know which one it is nope doesn't matter they're both messed up. Oh well, easy enough. Here in Notion, we're going to simply add, let's see, I need six measures. Two, three, four, five, six. So now I need to select those and fill them with rest. And I'm going to hide this keyboard here. I'll just take a scan through and make sure that the rest of this stuff looks correct because it's way harder to do it. In fact, if it's messed up, you're going to have problems later. And I can actually see here that this measure should be 45. So I've got another issue someplace else. And I can see that this one note here should be a dotted half note. So let's see, I should have six measures and then nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Something's still not adding up, right? Back here, there it is. After the four, four, I'm supposed to have three measures right here. So I'm going to add one, two more measures. Fill them with rests. Now, go down, jump down here. That should be measure 45. And it actually is. 5, 6, 7, 8. I've got 68 measures. Okay. Now that the part is right, I'm going to select my part. Copy it. 
go over here to my score, tap in the first measure, and paste it. And again, if I hide all that stuff, I like going here to the view and looking at it as continuous. It just seems to be easier to get an overview. <clears throat> See if I've got anything that's screwed up. Looks like it worked. Yep, the ends. I always one of the easy spots to find out if things lined up is here at the end, and uh, you can see that it looks like everything came in. All right. Now there is a save feature here. I just ignore it. Notion automatically saves things. All right, let's go back in the Notate Me Now, the clarinet part. And again, I'm going to show the formatted score and see if I can catch any weird issues right away. You've really got to make sure that these time signatures are all correct. And key signatures are all correct. Because if they're not, it's just disaster later. All right. I think this one is all right. So again, we're going to use the export open in as an XML file, Notion. Now this one is a transposing instrument. Uh, yeah, so you can see it is not bringing over these measures of rests for some reason. Not sure why it's going on with that. I'm supposed to have six measures there. Four, five, six. These multi-rests really mess. Notion really, it's the, or Notate Me. That's one of the drawbacks in Notate Me. Okay, I'm just scanning through here. We have to check. There's one other spot I've got. There we go. I've got five measures. One, two, three, four. See that one? Came through fine. 62, 63, 64, 5, 6, 7. There we go. I've got 68 measures. Looks like all the key signatures are correct. Okay, now there's one more important step. So we're going to select the part. We're going to transpose everything. This is a B flat part, so it's got to go down. And we're going to transpose the key signatures. So it should be in the key of F. There we go. Now we can copy that sucker. Go over here to my score, double tap the first measure, and paste it in. And again, I'm going to go back. This resets every time. I'm going to look at it, continuous view, get rid of the extra junk at the bottom. And <clears throat> a quick scan through, you can see the parts in the top lining up. If you're checking out the dynamics, you can see that they're all above, but we're going to fix that later. And here at the end, everything lined up. So that one came in just fine. Make sure it's on the right key signature. Even though it's transposed in the first score that we were looking at, when it comes in here and we, trans or we copy it into the score, it knows it's the clarinet part, so it puts it into the right key. If you set it up right, step back. Okay, let's do the alto saxophone part. Now, the sax alto saxophone part, this is one of those examples where we've got a weird time signature. That 5-4 should not be there. And if I don't catch it now, it's a really bad issue. Sorry, i got to use two fingers. Fixing it and notate me is easy. Tap on it click down a couple times because it should be in 2-4. Let's go back and look at the whole score. Check my key signatures. You've got to check your key signatures. It's one of those things that chips you up quick. Okay, the 6-8 should be measure 25, which it is. I don't see any multi-rests. In my alto saxophone part, I'm gonna go over to the end. 
63, 64, 65, 67, 68. I think we've got an extra major someplace. Okay, that 4-4 four, four should be 59. Let's see, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Okay, it looks like we're all right. Okay, so we're going to, again, export, open in XML to Notion. This is a transposing score. So when we open this, <clears throat> we've got to select everything and transpose it. This one gets trickier. It's a minor third. It's got to go up a minor third. And we're going to transpose the key signature. And because it's an alto saxophone, it's also got to be an octave off. It's weird. But that's the way Notion works. All right. So now we're going to copy it. Go to our score. And let's see if this works. Paste it in. Now, oh, see, I went the wrong way. Transposition, once we get in here, is easy. It's got to go down two octaves. Octave down, two octaves. See, now it's correct. Let's hide this stuff at the bottom. Go to our continuous view. All right, scan through everything. You can see some of the critical spots. The 16th notes are lining up, so I know we're doing some good so far. Jump down here to the end. The end lines up, and we are all happy. Now, let's talk about dynamics. See the fortissimo? Yeah, that should be below the line. That crescendo is actually supposed to be below the tenor sax. This crescendo here is supposed to be below the alto sax. I haven't figured this answer out as to why notate me. I don't know if it's notate me or notion. Regardless, it's messed up. So we're going to select everything because there's a simple solution here. We're going to go down to dynamics or attachments, sorry. And we're going to select this first option, the show above, below, auto. And everything pops into place. And we're working. Now, in Notate Me, not all the dynamics comes through, come through, but they're pretty darn close. You know, there's some of these issues like we've got to make some of these um, the crescendo is shorter. Sometimes I find it easier just to select that, delete it, and add a new one. So I'll have to go through here, and I might even dump this over to the desktop version. I don't know. The shortcuts in the desktop are so much quicker, I think, at sometimes. So there you go. There's the overall way to bring in these parts. Good luck. If you got questions, Give me a holler, email, or leave me a comment. I'll see what I can do.